hello everyone welcome to today's session which is meant for beginners i'll be explaining some of the core concepts and fundamentals of react we are going to be building a smart weather application looking at concepts at like props and state we are going to use redux for our application state management we'll also deal with how to consume data from rest api first i will go through some slides then we will jump right into the code so it's avishek jana what's going on everybody let's start today's session on how to use react and redux to build a full stack application quick introduction to react what it is it is nothing but a javascript library uh, which you can use to build your user interface so it divides the ui in separate components so if i visit so there i see a navigation option a form a button and everything can be designed and uh, developed in react as a component so components can have their own state uh, and we can uh, gather multiple components and uh, create a complex uh, ui elements now what is redux redux is mostly used for applications uh, state management uh, means uh, say i need uh, one component data in another component uh so i have to link two components together so in that case a uh, state is required so uh, this is where redux becomes helpful it maintains the state of an entire application in a, a single state tree okay the state tree means nothing but object which we cannot uh, change directly uh but uh, whenever a something changes in this in that uh, uh, redux store a new object gets created and redux also provides a dev tools which uh, makes it easy uh, to trace the why a change happened what change happened and uh, to get started uh, you need this to start development in react you need these three things to be installed so one is node.js you need to have node.js installed in your system uh, another thing is uh, npm npm is a node package manager or you can use yarn which is a package manager created by facebook so uh, to start with you need a library a npm library called create react app with this command you can uh, install create react app package in your system uh, if you already have uh, then uh, there is no need to follow this step so see i have already installed it in my system uh, next if you check their website so to create a new app you just have to uh, use the following command in page create react app and then the app's name i will just copy it from here and we'll just paste it here once uh, this installation takes time uh, just visit open weather map website uh, openweathermap.org there if you go to the api section you will see uh, there are more more than one api available here current weather data hourly forecast one call api uh, daily forecast for 16 days and they also have historical data for last 40 years too so we will use the first one the get current weather data so the api doc is available here yes we will use this one uh, weather by city name this is the api on uh, url base url api.openweathermap.org data 2.5 weather here we have to pass the city's name in this case and our app id is the api key so So every one of you have to generate a new API key in order to call this API. So to do that, you just follow this subscribe option that they have here, and there you will get a free, a uh, free API. So free API have six can have sixty calls per minute, and uh, there is something one million calls per month. So beyond that, uh, all of them are payable, but you uh, you can do it for free here. So actually, I already have enabled uh, my API keys. So we can create your new API key here. Then 
generate a new API key and then just copy it. Now, as the API doc says, uh, say we will hit this URL in our browser. So I will replace this app ID with my API key that I have already generated here. Paste it here. And in place of city name, I will pass uh, sign from Kolkata right now. I will hit enter. Yes, uh, see, you will see the lat long of that corresponding city, uh, whether in the main section, you will see temperature. Okay, if you got your API key, uh, then, then again, come back to the terminal. Go inside your project. And to start the project, if you are using NPM, then you can use NPM start. And if you are, you are using yarn, then you can use yarn start command. So once you start this project in terminal, you will see the prompt with starting development server. Uh, it will open the browser by default on localhost 3000. Okay, so application is ready. So it is available at localhost 3000, as you can see. Now it is saying edit src app.js to save and reload. Okay, so our application is ready. So in a code editor, so I have VS code in my system. Just open the code uh, that this create react app has generated. If you visit uh, the src folder, so there you will see app.css file. Uh, these are nothing but basic CSS that they have added for this uh, default application. And app.js, uh, has few UI components here. Now this index.css is important. Here, uh, what they're doing, they are taking React library, React Tom as input. Then uh, they are importing the CSS file here. They're importing the app.js also. And the React, React Tom is uh, replacing the document root by this application. So what is this document root? If I visit the public folder, there you will see there is a, a file called index.html. Here you will uh, see a div with root of id root is present. So what the React is doing, React is just pushing this content. React is just pushing this content. It's just replacing uh, element with id root with this application. Then I will proceed to the next step. Uh, that is, we will install few necessary uh, packages. So to do that, you just uh, go to your terminal. And if you have yarn, then you give yarn add. And if you have npm, then you can use npm install there. done it is saved so once it is ready then i will create few necessary folders named store inside store we will create a file called reducers.js and there we will keep create another folder so to store the weather reducers few more folders here for actions and reducers inside action we will create a file named hcityweather.js here from this file, we'll make our API call to open weather map using the API key that we have already generated. So if we go to reducers, here we'll define our application's state. We will import combine reducers from React 
uh, sorry Redux. Then we'll import form reducer from Redux form. So here I'm just using combined reducers function from uh, uh, Redux and from Redux from that extension that we have installed, we are using the form reducer. Okay, so I am defining a new uh, root reducer. We will export it from here. Okay, so root reducers has a form element, a form attribute in it from where we are passing the form reducer from the Redux form. Okay, so once this file is ready, we just uh, go back to the index.js. There right now, our uh, React application don't have any connection uh, to Redux store, but uh, to establish the connection, we will import uh, some packages here too. We'll use import provider from React Redux. Then we'll import create store and middleware from Redux. We have imported these uh, four functions from the corresponding libraries. One is provider from React Redux. What provider does? Provider actually uh, makes the Redux store uh, available to the nested components. Then uh, the create store function we will use to create a new React store. Redux thunk uh, is a middleware, which I will explain later. And this one is composed with DevTools is a, is a function from the DevTools that we have installed from the Chrome extension. Using these four libraries, we will uh, define our store. We will use this create, uh, create store function. And we have to import the reducers too. Next, we will replace this code with provider. Next, we will use the provider here and we'll pass the store that we have created here. Once you save it, if you go back to the application and the Redux DevTools extension installed, you will get a Redux tab here. Okay, I'm getting error. Okay, so if your DevTools extension is enabled, yes, here you'll be able to see the Redux uh, state is initiated. Okay, uh, so uh, this store part is ready. I will explain the folder structure uh, later on, but first we will create two more folders here inside the SRC directory. One is components, another is containers. So containers are actually smart components who interact with the store. They fetch data from store. Uh, they request uh, the store to get some additional data if any data is required. Next, there you create one file, city search form.js. We'll design our form here. And here we'll create inside container, we'll create another file. Once these files are created, we'll visit our app.js. From here, I will remove all of the code that they have given by default. Here, I will import I will use this component here, it means the container here. If you save it right now, you will get some error in your browser that this uh, this file is not returning anything. Element of invalid expected a string class or a function, but you got object. Okay, that is fine because we have nothing here inside. So here we will define a basic React Redux container. To do that, I will import I will import React 
now i will define my component means a smart component here city search container i'm using es6 syntax to define this function i will uh, export this one as default here i have to return some sort of ui right now okay i will name it as city filter form so till now it is a simple component only there is nothing smart inside it but once i will add how to fetch data using this component it will become smart so if you uh, visit the browser you will see the react weather app that is coming from app.js and this city filter form that is coming from here this one so next uh, we will design our form to do that we will use the redux form in your browser go just uh, search with redux form here this is how we define a form so we will design our form too we will create a form with simple text field you can just uh, copy this code from here and just paste it here and just rename it with uh, the city search form okay one more thing i would import form field from the redux form i will use this form element here i'll define field name as q q is the query field that we have to pass in that uh, api component as input of type text placeholder search by city's name i'll create a button of type submit here i will take two functions from pop uh, one is handle submit another is on submit here on form submit so once this form is ready then i will uh, come back to this part our city search container here i would import the form that i have created just now city search form from components city search form we would pass it here now as per the documentation we will copy this part city search redux form here i can give name uh, to this form and this name should be unique throughout the application once i have once i have connected this one uh, with the redux form this gives a handle submit method inside the prop i will take it from here i will define a const uh, on submit function i will pass this to to this form as props so what is props a props is nothing but properties that a component can have say uh, for this component has i am passing two uh, handle submit and submit form as two properties and uh, component can have state also uh, so state is local in the sense means uh, whatever state i will define inside the component uh, here it will stay inside it will not go outside and props uh, can be passed it can be passed to children and children's after uh, in the hierarchy of the components
So in the search form, I have passed uh, this handle submit method and this submit form method that I have defined. So whatever, whenever a form gets submitted, I would I have printed the input in console in the browser console and uh, check in your browser. Okay, it is saying city search products form also. I have to define it as constant here in line number 17. Okay, that's how I haven't defined Redux from here. Okay, the input field is coming. If I search here, it is printing in the console. Then I will move forward to make the API call. I will define the function that fits city weather, where I will pass this data, the input that I have got from the form, and then we'll make the API call from there. We will define the Redux store, we will save the data there. Inside the store folder in the weather directory, I will create one file, constants.js. There I will define a bunch of constants that I need in the actions and reducers. So I'm exporting three constants, fetch uh, city weather request, fetch city weather success, fetch city weather failure. Then I'll move forward to actions. Here I will import Axios. So Axios is a library which is used to uh, make network calls. I will import the constants that I have defined. Okay, I would define the fetch weather method. Export default function fetch city weather. And I will take one parameter that is Q. I will write a return function. I will dispatch. Before that, I will use Axios. I will copy the URL that I have got here from uh, open, open with the map. I will paste it here. Okay, so in this data, this part is dynamic, this city. I would replace it with my query parameter that I have got here, Q. And the remaining part will stay same. The app ID, it is static part, units is metric, that's what I want. Once I will get response, dispatch, request, success, and use the response. And if there is any error, then I have to catch that part too. So here I have used uh, three functions that I haven't defined yet. I would set requesting. I would define the request error function. Here I would give the error message as payload. I will define another function named request success and I will pass the success message here and the payload will be. So here I have defined my function with city weather. From here I am using, I'm using dispatch to dispatch action. This function is nothing but action creator. Uh, it is a concept uh, in Redux that is used to make API calls and that's how we can change the data of the state. Whenever I'm making the API call, I'm dispatching one action with the data that I'm requesting. So once request is complete, I'm dispatching request success. 
and once uh, there is any error then i'm dispatching the failure from here so where to use this data so to do that we will uh, define a reducer here a single reducer say city weather dot js here uh, we will import this same uh, three constants i will define initial state object nothing is getting fetched uh, data is null there is no error and error message is also set to null i will define my reducer here Now I would use switch case. So whenever someone is requesting something, I would return with is fetching to true, now uh, data to null, is error to false. Fine, I'll just copy this part here. I would make the success scenario. In this case, data would be action dot payload. Actually, this is matching with this one. This payload, whatever this type is the action dot type, which I am using in the switch case in the switch statement. And uh, here I am using the payload. And in case of failure, I am doing this one. Uh, in Redux, the state is immutable. Uh, so I cannot directly assign that is fetching equals true. I cannot directly assign the state object. This is the philosophy that Redux follows. Uh, so what I am doing, I am creating a new object uh, from here. Whatever state object I have, I am uh, returning a new object with the, uh, and I am changing the uh, values inside. Say is fetching is false in this case. Here it is true and default. I have to return the state. So once this part is ready, then I will come back to my root reducer. Here I will import city weather reducer from weather reducers, city reducer. I have used the combined reducers method. That combined reducers method combines multiple reducers at once and make it available to the application state. So as we have seen earlier, that form reducer is available in application state. Right now, uh, I have also attached the city reducer, city weather reducer. <coughs> Sorry, I would rename it city weather. So if I go back to my browser window now, if I would hit refresh, so here I would get, see inside form also, this new city search form is coming and our city reducer is getting initiated with the initial data that we have set in this reducer so this initial data is coming is fetch is fetching is false our uh, data is null is error is false error message is null so this initial uh, set of data is coming here so that means our action creator which is uh, fetch uh, city weather is ready and it is ready to dispatch actions here i am dispatching the action here in the reducer file, in the city weather reducer file, I'm receiving it one by one. Then I have imported this reducer in the main root reducer file and I have combined with it. This function is ready. I will include it in my container here. I would import it as import fetch city weather from store weather actions with city weather so now here we need the connect function now that's what you were saying oh uh, yes Okay.
so now I have used the connect methods that this uh, React Redux provides. So this one actually, if I need any data from the store, say say I want uh, some data, I want city data from store. So the first parameter accepts data, and the second one requests it. So it is is it dispatches an action. So as it is connected now, now it is available inside our props here. So if I say props dot fetch weather, and then I can pass the queue here, the query parameter. Okay. So if I go back to the browser, uh, if I check my network here, there I can yes I can see the data. Let me search in other cities too. So I'm checking my network tab and uh, XHR1 in browser. See for Bangalore also it is coming. Uh, so right now in Bangalore temperature is 30 degrees, feels like 28. Uh, so if I go back to the Redux, there inside city weather, yes, we have the data. It is populating our state. If I search with another city, another set of data will come here. So our search functionality is working right now. So we have defined a form here a redux form which is connected to the store so when i'm requesting a data from a forest city it is making an api call to the open weather map and then uh, later on we are populating uh, we are updating our state with the data after that we will continue uh, to how to show this data here in the ui okay uh, so this is a process flow say this is a redux store this box here okay so it has a dispatcher it has reducers it has uh, the state okay so first from uh, first we will start from the view so we have a simple form with one input field one button and few text right so whenever we give input to that uh, input field uh, we give a city's name then we hit the submit button uh, action get invoked from here okay so that is the fetch city weather here yeah. this one so what it does it can dispatch an action so dispatch is nothing but a way to change your uh, state so if you see here we are changing our state by dispatching an action whenever i'm requesting then also i'm dispatching an action whenever the request a success is happening then also i'm dispatching an action and whenever is there is an error then also i'm dispatching an action with two fields and one is type one is payload so this type is nothing but a string and in payload we can pass any data that we want to be in the state so this this is dispatcher now if i come to reducer so we have a reducer called city reducer here see whatever actions we have dispatched from here i am catching it here in simple sense whether it is requesting it is it is a request success or if there is any error then the reducer is updating the uh, the state this is the application state you can say this is not a root reducer you can say this is the app state so here i am using the combined reducer which is nothing but as the function name says it combines multiple reducers at once and make it available to our application state okay so whenever the state changes if any component which is connected to my store using the connect function if any data changes in this state the component will update automatically whenever we are dispatching something it is saying reducer to update that state whenever the state is getting updated it is updating the view and this cycle goes on and on okay so now as our data is ready i will show the data here in ey so to do that i will create another container here city weather container.js this would be our basic uh, react component first I would return something for now.
I would export this. Okay, so it is it is a basic component right now. Let me just uh, first connect it to the UI inside app.js. I would import this file. Okay, so fine, it is coming. Where the result will come here. So once it is ready, I would can use the connect method. Map step to props. There is. I'm not dispatching anything from here, so I have just uh, set it to null. Otherwise, in this case, here I have used uh, the fetch city weather. But this component uh, will only receive data from state. So I'll define this function which has access to state. Then I will return object uh, from here, say city weather state dot. Uh, so it is inside city weather. So inside city weather, I want the data. And I will use this is fetching. I take is fetching from the state. Uh, so I have defined my function here and which I have passed to the connect method. So what this function does, it, it has the access to state. So from state, I'm saying from the uh, city reducer, I want the is fetching and is data. These, these two fields I want. And if I want, uh, if you need more, then you can use, uh, say you need uh, is error or error message, whatever they have. If there is an error, then it will give the error. This data is right now, it is accessible, is fetching, uh, is error or this one, city weather from the props. If I print it in the console, then it will come i guess yes it is coming okay so here we can use this one say if it is fetching the data then i can return loading please wait so if i try to search this thing loading please wait so here uh, we can print the data now city city weather then inside city weather name current temperature it is inside the main main ten. okay uh, so there is a problem right now it is saying that cannot read property uh, name null. So initially what is happening, our state is initiated with the city weather with the null value. Okay, so if you check the city weather reducer here, here you will see that it is set to null. So that's why initially when it is rendering and when the API call is not complete, but still it is rendering, it is trying to fetch the name, it is trying to access the name or the main temperature from this uh, property here. But whenever it is not getting, it is giving the error. So if I have city weather, so in that case, I would return this one. If I don't have, I can uh, return a simple string. It is now saying, uh, search your city above so if i now type my city name now it is giving the values current temperature main temperature and max uh, let me check the variable names Sorry, so the temp main temp max. So if I refresh, 
just giving the results it is giving results to okay uh, so our basic uh, weather application is complete so you may explore with other data and uh, in this uh, workshop i haven't covered the ey part so mainly we use material ey this library is very rich in terms of component that they have say you want a card they have given the code snippet say you have to install this material ey code this library and then you can import this one and uh, then it, you just use this code then you can do changes inside you say you want dynamic data you use uh, you connect it to the react redux store and fetch data from there so our uh, application is complete here whenever your data is complex and you need oh, data in multiple part so in a large app, uh, enterprise level application you will have hundreds of components and uh, it may be possible that in a single screen you may have 20 10 20 of uh, components the scenario will come whenever you will see the components are sharing data with each other okay so whenever you are inter interacting with one component uh, another component uh, may show some uh, results depending on it so in such scenarios uh, redux is very helpful though i am not saying it is a foolproof solution means you can use other options too like uh, facebook have their flux and on and nowadays you can use context the re react context that they have so as uh, you can use context as a store means you can you can define some sort of store using context okay then thanks for watching thumbs if you loved it and subscribe to our channel for more such videos in future.